Hi, welcome. Today we're drawing Santa in his sleigh. I'm going to take you through step by step. When you've learned how to draw a sleigh, then you can make your own design changes. I'll show you mine at the end of this video. Here we go. Place the point of the splat on your starting point and trace around five lines like when you're starting a cube. But we're not going to draw the full cube, just the first two steps. There's one. Step two. Have a close look at the bottom edge. There's a pencil mark halfway along. That's so that I can slide the splat when I need to add half a cube in length. Let's complete that face. Good. Let's have a go at a curved part at the front of the sleigh. We're using the small ellipse. Tilt the splat till the bottom edge is flat with the paper. It's about the right angle. Center it on that corner and draw an ellipse. On the far dot, half an ellipse. Now connect those with a straight line. And we've drawn a cylinder that's going back on the isometric or the splat angle. A few lines to erase there. Let's cut an opening in the side of the sleigh. From that point, come down, make up your own measurements here, and then go backwards and stop at that line. There's a few lines to erase. Let's get rid of that one and that one. Now we're going to smooth that line off. So I'm drawing some nice big curves, radiuses in here. Now we're going to add like a handrail, a roundy bead that goes all the way around. Project a short line sticking straight out from those ellipses and then copy around the small ellipse, same on the far end, till it disappears. But this one you'll be able to see come straight down and around. You may need to practice this a few times. I suggest drawing it really lightly and end off with a curve there. Great. Let's angle the back in. Again, you can make up any shape you like. It's the little details that you come up with that makes yours look different from everyone else's. I'm going to get rid of the sharp corners by adding a little curve. Let's see how it looks if we round off that straight line. Let's lightly look at how that seems and if it's good, go ahead and darken it in and erase your lines. Nice. There's a few I missed. And that line won't be there now that we've rounded the corners. Put your pencil in that place I'm showing you. Then come up from there one splat length and a little bit more and draw a little flat Santa nose. Above the nose is two little oval shaped eyes and darken those in. Now for the hat. Simply draw a rectangle. Draw where you want the beanie hat to end and connect it with two curvy lines. And next comes Santa's moustache. It goes up, down, up. And underneath is two curves that meet in the middle. Then draw a mouth. Try a bigger or smaller moustache. Imagine a big egg shape to draw the beard in. It starts from under the hat and then think of it like a cloud. Lots of curves working your way around and under the hat again. That's pretty easy. Now for the arms, draw a line that comes out and upwards on both sides. From roughly the bottom of the beard, two more lines. At the end, draw a cuff using a rectangle. And here's the mitten. Notice the little thumb mark there too. Come up out for the thumb and then around. Oh, that's looking really good. Drop two lines down until it hits your slate. Somewhere in the middle, Draw two lines going across and a buckle in the middle and that's Santa's belt. Two more lines down is the front of his shirt and there's the bottom of his shirt. One line divides the trouser legs and 
that one slopes in to the top of his boots. So that's the cuff on the top of the boots. Now we're going to draw the runners that the sleigh slides on. Put your splat in the original position and add two dots. Draw a line straight down. That's called the bridge. Now using the splat, connect those two on the splat angle. But we need to extend it out the back. Remember that little mark I put halfway along the length? I'm using that to extend half a splat length. Now we're coming forwards. Same, half a splat length. Place the corner of the splat on that mark and draw your line forwards. Pop the pencil straight up into that ellipse and then drop it down till it meets the end of the line and draw in a curve up to that little line on the splat. That's called the bow, the curved part of the runner. Let's find the bridge on the other side. Put the point of the splat at the bottom of that line and mark off that point. Use that to draw the bridge in. Just like before, put the corner of the splat on that point and come forwards half. Line up the circle, drop it down till it meets your line and draw in the bow. Awesome! If you wanted your uh, bridge to be a little thicker, you can add some uh, other lines there right beside. And what I'm doing here is making the bow look a bit thicker as well. So I'm going to copy that line carefully all the way around the bow. And I'm going to copy that straight line all the way to the end and then round it off. You might use a ruler for that. To tidy it up, I've erased some of those lines and now I'm just redrawing them in. So ho ho ho, that's how it goes. Now that you know how to draw a sleigh, you need to take it to the next level and come up with some crazy invention based on a sleigh could have rocket motors, could have anything. I'm imagining here what I'd need to add to my sleigh to make it road legal, just for a bit of fun. I'm Glenn, thanks for drawing along with me. Oh, and I nearly forgot. Here's our puppy dog, Obi, who wants to be the first to pull the sleigh. I wonder how he'd go. Bye now.